Hi guys, Tekka536 here, and uh, another video for you today. Um, this is top f 10 laptops of 2014, but I'm only going to do 5 now, and if you if it, this gets enough likes, I'll upload the second half. Um, so this is top 5 laptops here, is the first 5. Um, HP ZBook 14. Um, and I'd just like to say before I start, please subscribe comment and like it really helps they only take a second and it's really helpful so coming at number five the HP ZBook 14 um, this is a powerful portable weight workstation perfect for business um, um, it's really quite good for business um, it's got an Intel Core i7 4600U at 2.1 GHz so it's really good um, really quite powerful it's got Windows 7, 16 gigs of RAM, again powerful, especially for a laptop that's very high, high amount, um, 14 inch screen. Graphics AMD Fire Pro M4 100 <laughs> to power that 1080p HD screen, anti-glare screen I might add. Um, this is, it's also got um, a large amount of external ports, perfect for um, if you if you need them, it's it's a good option if you need lots of external ports. It's 240 gigabyte HDD, and it's 3.8 pounds. Um, so it's under four pounds. is light. It's uh, a couple of other things. It's 4G ready, and has biometrics, fingerprint, and smart card reader. So it's um, if you know anything about them or need them, it's great. So biometric fingerprint scanner. What a bonus! Love those things. Um, yep, yeah. and so. Uh, Bottom line is power, powerful. It's got great battery life and a great screen. Um, next up is n at number four is the Asus Transformer Book T100 TA. It's a hybrid Windows 8.1 tablet um, and is designed as a tablet ultrabook. Um, and the screen can be detached, obviously, and s separately from the keyboard. It's not that powerful, but it's what you would expect really from a um, tablet and it's quite good for a tablet um, at 1.3 gigahertz which is higher than a lot of tablets nowadays um, it also comes with one terabyte of cloud storage for one year which is a really good bonus um, and one terabyte is a lot it comes with Windows 8 and it's 2 gigabytes of RAM 10.1 inch screen so not that much RAM <laughs> Windows 8 is good for especially for touch screen 10.1 um, inch screen is quite small, it's got HD graphic, Intel HD graphics, which isn't that good, in fact it's quite questionable, but it's alright, it's enough for that. For that, 64GB HDD, 2.4 pounds, so it's light. Um, so, also, um, a couple of things, again, it's super fast Wi-Fi capability, so you can, if you need it, then you can have it. Um, it's got Microsoft Office installed um, when you get it. Um, and also the 8 point, Windows 8.1 avoids compatibility issues with iOS and Windows RT so you don't get some of the compatibility issues um, coming at number 3 is the Apple MacBook Pro 13 inch um, 2013 model um, it's ultra portable, used for business um, perfect for anybody who needs an ultra portable business laptop it's got a retina display as you can see there highly useful and highly powerful um, it's really great um, it's got Intel i5-4250U at 2.4 GHz I've read a few reviews online about this and it's got really good reviews so I'd recommend it um, and also this laptop comes with the iLife and iWork suites included um, so the two main suites come with the actual laptop it's got um, two Thunderbolt ports, um, which are really useful, and it comes with Mac OS X, 4GB of RAM, and a 13.3 inch screen. And, I, and I, the Thunderbolt ports are like the HDMI ports, um, and they, they are used in many, much more than HDMI ports in many different things. Graphics are Intel Iris, and you've got, you can see there you've got your HDMI port, and the USB 2 2.0, it's 128 gigabytes HDD and 3.46 pounds. So um, a couple of things I always have to add for this one is higher than 1080p screen. Um, it's got a Retina display and 11 hours of battery life. Um, it's, but on the other hand, it's got glossy screen, so it reflects light easily. And it, Ethernet does require an adapter. 
Um, bottom bottom line is faster, cheaper than last year's model, um, and by five hundred five hundred dollars. So that's quite good. Coming at number two is the Acer Aspire. Um, you can read those numbers. Um, it's very thin and light, as you can see here, and it's ultra portable. Um, designed as an ultra book. Um, these are becoming more and more popular ultra books, and becoming better and better as the technology improves. Intel Core i5 4200U at 1.6 gigahertz. So not that powerful, but the Intel i5 is good, and 1.6 gigahertz, not so good, but ex just just acceptable. Um, it comes with Windows 8, 8 gigabytes of RAM, which I'm not too sure about because maybe that's a bit disproportionate from the CPU. But anyway, 13.3 inch screen, and as you can see there, your USB 3.0. Inter it's got Intel graphics for 4400, um, and has a touch screen. And as you can see, it looks really nice. That white backing with the um, silver silver um, trim looks great it's very thin and light as you can see here and has a strong build um, it's 128 gigabytes HDD as per usual and 2.87 pounds so it's light um, it had very good benchmark test performances and um, it's got fast wake up from sleep anyway moving on and at number one is the Apple MacBook Pro 15 inch 2013 model um, it's a great great laptop really and um, perfect for media business or even desktop replacement um, yeah and this ha actually has an amazing retina display um, high than 1080p HD Intel Core i7 4750HQ at 2 gigahertz I've used this it's a great CPU um, I'd recommend it um, definitely um, this this laptop comes with iLife and iWork software included and has two Thunderbolt 2 ports um, which we'll probably see in a minute um, yeah and it's also got Mac OS X um, great software once again 8GB of RAM 15.4 inch screen so big screen perfect for all your needs Intel Iris Pro 5200 perform like discrete GPUs which is pretty amazing um, Apple somehow always manages to do this, always manages to pull off a product which um, works flawlessly. Um, and yeah, this has nine hours, this laptop actually has nine hours of battery life, which is quite amazing. And it's got 256 gigabyte HDD and 4.46 pounds in weight. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, Hope you enjoyed. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, I will answer them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Um, um, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you soon.